I, I know it's shocking. You entrust me with three patients while you're off gallivanting in London, and they're all alive and kicking, thank God. Hmm. You prescribed Mr. Nelson a new medication. He was complaining of pain. He always does. He doesn't have any. He likes the attention. Which is why I prescribed him placebo. One for me. <laughs> okay. Mrs. Rubin. Uh, Mrs. Rubin. Sweet, sweet old gal. She doesn't trust you. A cranky, whiny broad. Said you were too cute to know what you were doing. Okay, one for you. Fine. We're even. And Mr. Tanaki, I probably shouldn't have discussed his surgical options while he was still on a drug protocol. It's just... Oh, no. Thank you for that. I calmed him down long enough to give the protocol time to work. Wow. Two one. Husband wins. Okay, if this is your idea of not being competitive, too it late. needs work. Did I tell you how much I missed you? I missed you too. Mm. Do you maybe want to show me how much you missed me in the on call room? Do I want? Absolutely. Got it. Hey, Go give it. radiology a heads up. We might need full body scans. Mm. Mike, it's Robin. We got you now. You're going to be okay. Do you know? Uh, no, thanks. Okay. Actually, I wouldn't mind a quick consult. Okay, you got it. Let's move. Uh, I, uh, I'll just wait right here. What happened? I don't know. I just found him in an alley. I'll bust it out like that. You so know. I called 911. You know Mike, don't you? Yeah, well, I know he's Sonny's father. So I hope you doctors know what you're doing. I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> After all this time, why would Lucky start drinking again? I mean... I thought, yeah, it's a blow to find out that your brother's in love with your fiance, but that's not a knockout punch. You could get through that without trashing your sobriety as long as the two of you didn't act on it, but you did uh, over and Lou, over. Neither one of us wanted this, okay? It was monumentally self-destructive, but it wasn't intentional. I, I, well, I don't know what else to say. So then when you were being swept out of your willpower, did you ever think about Lucky and how you might be hurting Of course him? we did. We talked about it all the time. So you just rationalized it away because nothing was more important than your overwhelming need no, for each no, other. I know it sounds like a lie right now, but I love my brother more than anyone else in this no, world. No, that's the saddest part about this, Nicholas. It doesn't sound like a lie. I know you love your brother, and that's what makes what you did so nauseating. Why didn't you reject Elizabeth? Why didn't you just slam the door in her simpering face and stop, send her back to Lucky? Stop blaming her. This was all my oh, Don't you my dare fault. stand there and defend that tramp to me. The reasons I had for giving up Jake still stand. And if I've learned anything in the last 10 years, it's that Sonny and I cannot protect the people that we love. Okay, what if Lucky and Elizabeth were killed in a car accident or a plane crash? Come on, Carl, that's a whole nother situation. No, it's not. Not when you think about it. That stable family you thought you were giving Jake is imploding. Elizabeth is sleeping with her brother-in-law, and Lucky is drinking again. That is a hop, skip, and a jump to full-on okay, drug abuse. Now you're making a lot of assumptions because we, we really don't know anything right now. We don't know if Elizabeth and Lucky are breaking up. It's possible that they can find a way to work things Lucky out. Lucky was adamant. They are over. Yeah, he just found out Elizabeth was sleeping with his brother. He's pissed. An angry, drunk, pill addict, and a lying nymphomaniac? What part of that is better for Jake than you are? So the arrest warrant for Sonny's ready to go. It's close. How close? Well, I expect we'll take him into custody any day now. Any evidence is solid? There's a lot of it, from eyewitness accounts to self-incriminating statements recorded. The whole thing would have gone down by now, but the feds stepped in. The feds? We're talking Rico now? Yeah, Sonny's going away for a long time. Is there any chance the feds are going to come after John? No. Johnny seems safe this go around. They're after the big fish, but as you can see, this is why I can't step down. It's out of my hands. You did good. I came here to get a job done, and you did it. I'm proud of you. Mm. It means a lot more. I just wish I was more proud of myself. Lieutenant Gorski, it's Olivia Falconeri. I need to speak with who's ever in charge of the Corinthos case. Right away. This meeting you overheard, tell me everything. Okay, I was walking by Elm Street Pier. Mm -hmm. I heard Dominic's voice, and 
I couldn't really make out what he was saying at first. As I got closer, I heard Johnny say that Dominic is an undercover cop. I couldn't believe what I was hearing, so I just stopped to listen. What exactly did Dominic say? Stuff about how weird it was that you picked an undercover as your successor, how he had all this evidence against you, and that you're going to prison. How did Johnny respond? I mean, Johnny isn't really the issue. I have no love for the guy, mm -hmm. but at least he doesn't pretend. The guy will put the knife in your chest, not your back. Dominic is a flat-out traitor. What did Johnny say? How he agreed that you going down was a beautiful thing, but look, Dominic was driving it, okay? I know you really like him, and it must suck to know that someone you've trusted has been lying to you, your family, your business associates. But you gotta deal with that later, Dad. You gotta take action right now. Okay, Michael, I get that you're jealous without meaning to. And I may have showed uh, what you perceived as favoritism towards Dominic and lack of confidence in you, but we could work that out, us three, as men, but you, you have to understand the seriousness of these allegations. You can't make them because you're pissed off or you're feeling overlooked. Are you saying that you don't believe me?